Audition's waveform editor provides unique audio editing options in a very visible way. To get to the waveform editor from a multi-track session, select the waveform icon in the top left with the clip you want to edit selected. Now you'll see this zoomed in view of the clip's waveform. Let's say I want to lower the volume of just one small section of the clip. I can do this by highlighting that section and lowering the amplitude knob here. If I like where the control is floating, I can select the pin icon here to pin it in place rather than following your selection. One of the most useful parts of the waveform editor is the spectral frequency display. You can get to this by selecting the icon here or pressing Shift plus D. Now you should see this spectral frequency view of your audio. Notice that there are some tools here that were grayed out before that are now accessible. These include various selection tools and a spot healing tool. If you've used software like Adobe Photoshop or InDesign before, these tools are some of the types of tools you'll find in those programs. I'm going to zoom into my audio with the plus key. Let's say, for example, that this spike here represents some unwanted noise that I don't want as part of my audio. First, let's try removing it with the spot healing tool here. I'm going to change the size of my cursor using the bracket keys, and then just paint over the area. Now we can see that Audition has automatically taken out certain information from the audio based on what I've selected. Maybe that wasn't enough and the noise can still be heard. Let's try completely removing the section instead of spot healing. To do this, let's select one of the various selection tools. For example, let's try the paintbrush selection tool. With this tool, I can also adjust opacity, which is going to affect how strong my selection is going to be. I can change size with the bracket keys, just like I did with the spot healer. Now I'm just going to paint over the area, like before, and hit the delete key to delete the area. I'm going to press the G key to get rid of my selection, and now we can see that area of the audio has been completely removed. Next let's try a different selection tool on a different audio spike. Let's try the lasso selector. For this one, I'm just going to highlight around the area. to make my selection. I can also hit the invert key to select everything around that. Now again, I'm going to hit the delete key and the G key to get rid of my selection. And now we can see that that area of the audio is completely gone as well. Finally, let's try the marquee selection tool. Here we can make a rectangle shape selection. Let's try it on this spike here by just dragging out a rectangle over the area and hitting the delete key again and G to unselect. Next to the spectral frequency display icon, we have the spectral pitch display icon. This view gives you a general visual representation of the sound's pitch. This might be useful if you're working with music and want to examine pitch. Note that the tools we used in the spectral frequency display won't work in this view. That's the basics of Audition's Waveform Editor. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to the TSW YouTube channel for more.